today for the Bitcoin price. And yes, guys, we have three days left. Three days left for Bitcoin. Three days left for the decision whether we are going to break significantly lower multiple of multiple of thousands of US dollars per Bitcoin down to potentially below 30,000, slightly below 30,000 US dollars. Or are we going to get this reversal? I want to show you exactly how. I want to determine that. I want to show you exactly when I am going to open a long position or when I am going to decide I'm going to step back and I'm not going to open long positions for a very long time. This chart I am going to show you today is the answer to probably most of your questions about Bitcoin. Watch this video until the very end. Smash up the like button to a new all-time high. I am here right now walking around in the streets of Palma de Mallorca, obviously walking around bare feet, making this video just for you. Lovely family. I truly appreciate you. Let's go straight into the content. Thank you so much for always smashing up the like button, for watching until the very end, sharing the video, leaving your comments down below. I truly appreciate it. And yes, if Bitcoin is going to get this breakout to the upside, actually, I talked about it here on, um, sorry, not here, but here over on Twitter. Uh, no, there is no, let me quickly go to my profile because I was just posting it literally a few, uh, few minutes ago right here that the time is ticking if we are getting this breakout towards the upside i will tell you exactly the price target but more importantly this is the moment i'm going to start finally with altcoin content again yes you know i didn't talk about altcoins too much sometimes about nfts because obviously there is no point if everything is going down talking about that so let's talk about that once this happens now let's focus on the bitcoin price let's go here straight into the charts and what you can see here is the daily candles for bitcoin I will come to back to that later. For now, I want to focus on this. Yes, I talked about that before, but this is the four hourly candles. And what we can see, this breakout is literally imminent. It's Tuesday, right? So this breakout is going to happen within this week. If we are going down into the apex, the latest basically this can happen is maybe like the 7th of May. The 7th of May, the very latest. And the thing is, if this breakout goes towards the upside from a probability standpoint, a let me quickly go back. From a probability standpoint, the falling wedge breaks out two thirds of the time, 67% of the time towards the upside. It's a bullishly biased pattern with the price going towards the apex, getting a more and more volatile breakout, meaning the later we are breaking out, the more volatile it is going to get. The later we are breaking out, the less likely a fake out actually is going to be. So obviously we do not want to uh, have it break out today. The best thing is if it breaks out on Friday. So if we are breaking out here, the price target is the top of the wedge, always the top of the wedge, 42,400 US dollars as the price target for the specific breakout. And now let's talk about the other scenario. Obviously, I am here leaning towards the bullish scenario because I'm a guy of probabilities, right? I like probabilities and if the probabilities are on the long side, obviously I am more expecting that. Doesn't mean that I am going long. I am waiting for the breakout to come. But now let's talk about the other scenario. I mean, sorry for the background noises here sometimes. If this breakout should be breaking to the downside, we have to take this measurement tool. Just a second, we have to take this measurement tool, pull it here, and then you can see that we are talking about 34,000 US dollars. And now, dear ladies and gentlemen, this is what I've been waiting for. One scenario I've been talking about for ages, the most famous, the most famous fractal we can find right now. And this is one I've been talking about for some weeks now. We had it already in 2017 to 2020, where we had three touchdowns here to the horizontal support. Every single time going down, getting a break, and after the third touch, we went towards the upside. Now the question is, is something similar unfolding this time? Are we getting once again three touchdowns here at the 29,000 to 32, 33,000 US dollar area? What we can see, we already got two. The last one is waiting and obviously I'm personally not expecting this to happen, but I want to be prepared for this scenario to come just in case it is happening, right? And if we are getting this breakdown from the falling wedge, which is the less likely scenario. But then in this case, yes, then we are looking out for price targets of 31, 32, 30, up to 33,000 US dollars, the previous low. This is what I'm expecting here for the Bitcoin price. It is of course the less likely scenario, but this is the beautiful thing. As a professional trader, you always wanna be prepared for both scenarios. If A happens, you do A. If B happens, you do B. This is what a sophisticated trader does. A sophisticated trader is not watching a YouTube video complaining, hey, this YouTuber is telling me two scenarios. 
because either way either way whatever happens he's going to win that is exactly the point whatever happens we want to be going out as a winner this is why we have two scenarios and we are prepared for two scenarios i truly hope and I, I, I just truly hope that you understand this point. I know that most of the people in the MM Crypto community are understanding that. This is exactly what a trader does. A trader is not saying we are going to break out to the upside to, with 100% likelihood. This is just a utopia thinking and it is not working out like this. If this is happening, very often you might be standing on the sidelines, very often you might be uh, surprised uh, being caught up in a bias long position even though the price is going to go down, right? This is what we are talking about right now and yes, the price level we have to break is approximately we have to close basically a daily candle better. This is the four hourly above the 39,000. Once this is happening, long position for me, 42,400. Let me know what you think about that guys and truly I appreciate you watching this video until the very end, smashing up the like button towards a new all-time high. I'm gonna go back, I ordered food, just went out to make a video, going back bare feet now to eat my food. And man, I appreciate you guys. Always make sure you follow me over on Twitter um, at MM Crypto with a verification check mark so you can get these updates also in absolute real time. I'm making these videos only once a day, but I am posting between five and 20 tweets per day. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We are going to see each other very soon at the next one of MM Crypto and as always guys as always boom bye bye